My life growing up in Canambal, I was this farmer's daughter who always had one boot on the door, trying to get out in time not to be left behind. So I lived on this 50,000 acre farm for four years and grew my business over that time. And the business grew to serve every council from the Blue Mountains to the South Australian border, from Queensland down to Wagga. And we essentially provided civil engineering services to local government. And after four years in that business, at a point in my career when I should have been scaling, I just stalled at the boundaries of my confidence. I woke up one day sitting in my office on my own on the Barwon River and I felt really isolated. And there was a lack of mentors and a lack of community around me. And if you look at the 2017 Startup Muster Report, the two most important things to future founders is co-working and mentoring. They're the two services that we are not delivering enough of in regional Australia. I left and I took a time out to go to Stanford University to do an MBA and a public policy masters. But most women in regional Australia, they don't have the option to take a time out when things get tough. And a lot of people don't want to leave. This project is essentially seeded in my knowledge of women who are at home teetering on the edge of starting a business, but they have essentially stalled. There are also people running businesses right now who have the opportunity to scale. If we can only provide them with that confidence, capability and capacity to do that. So we need to provide better services in situ. We need to provide better services at home and we need to provide better services across regional Australia. When women start businesses and thrive, all of society benefits. If you've ever met these thriving women, they have like this logo on their head and it's a warning label and it says, if you hang out with me for too long, I will brainwash you into believing you can achieve anything.